out. I am not a pro, so please don't come for me. Today I'm going to use the dumbbells and the resistant bands. And I'm going to talk a lot of things. I'm just going to show you what I do. I am not a professional. Oh, yeah, that's it. hello hello people of the internet so today i'm doing the hip thrust three ropes of 10 and uh, as you can see i'm not in the best form make sure your glutes are not touching to the mat fully and make sure your legs are not really moving that much uh, yeah just make sure your form is good i'm looking back at my videos they're not the, i'm not in the best form it's not really much how much you're doing, it's the form that's mostly important. So for the next workout, I'll be doing um, the side hip abductor. But on this one, I want to be moving my feet. As you can see, they're all close together. I'm just moving my knees and using the resistant bands. Make sure you tighten your muscle in each workout. Take your time until the most important thing is you feel it. And in the side hip abductor, I'm also doing three reps of 10 on each side. As you can see in the video, um, because I was feeling the pain, I was rushing through the workout. Whenever you feel the pain, don't rush because your muscles can wear and they, they can actually tear. Take your time. Don't really rush into it. You need to feel it. And yeah. So y'all for the next workout I'm doing the donkey kicks. Now on the donkey kicks, make sure your back is not arched. You can see I'm moving my back a lot. And don't kick too high. That is when you'll feel the impact. So you make sure your back is flat and don't kick too high. The same thing as I said before, I'm doing three reps of 10. And yes, I really like donkey kicks, but they're usually painful on the knees. So for my next video, I'll try and do less impacted workouts. People who have problems with their knees, I got you. I got you, boo. By the next video, hey, honey, I was dying. I was, I couldn't wait to just finish. <laughs> they were painful. So make sure when you're working out, have a stopwatch or just count maybe in your head three reps times ten and keep up with that system. By the time you're doing the third one, honey, you will be, you'll be in pain. <laughs> So that's the thing. For the next workout, I am doing the fire hydrant, just fixing up my buns. I'm doing the fire hydrants. They're really good for glute activation. Make sure you tighten your muscle, as I said before that you can feel it be aware of how you're doing your workouts if i had drunk oh my god i just had to take a break drink some water <laughs> so i need to stop saying so guys dedicate me with new vocabularies Ciao, mm -mm, I was done. I was done. So for the next workout, I'm doing the single leg deadlift. Um, when you come back up, just to 
with time tighten up your glutes take your time to feel it tighten up because i don't have the best balance i always hold on to something that means you see i'm telling you guys i'm not perfect but i just want you guys to enjoy working out you don't have to be the best at it but just one step at a time and you guys can see from my video really <laughs> Single leg deadlifts are not usually my best because I really don't know how to. My form is not usually the best at all. I really struggle with it. So you don't have to follow what I'm doing. Do what works best for you. And single leg deadlift is not for me. So, but it's really good for your glutes. Yeah. For the next workout, I'm doing the regular deadlifts. Deadlifts are not my thing, <laughs> but I still do them once in a while. As you can see, I'm not in my best form. Squeezing your glutes and squeezing your tummy. As you can see, I'm not doing that. So for the next workout, I'm doing the sumo squat with my heaviest dumbbell, just one. Just as I said before, it's three reps times ten. Squeeze up your glutes, tighten up your stomach muscles so that you can feel up the impact. I've repeated it to say, but yes, it's just the same logic in all the workouts. workouts I'm taking the heaviest dumbbell and I'm doing a hip thrust Thank you.